Hey Zanivas, this is Super Zomagon Barbecue, and we just had a very interesting King of the Ring, but we're also in the Road to Glory, which we're going to play right now. This is the Road to Rollins. Also, I finally get a pro from an event. Yay! First actual normal event that I've managed to get a pro from. Oh god, it's the first one since Kalisto in terms of the team events. The first one, which was uh, Roman Reigns. It's the first one since then. I had a immaculate record in the, pre in the previous tier in Survivor tier, uh, which this card is Dean Ambrose, by the way, Legendary is The Miz. Uh, but Sting is now a pro for me. I've already seen someone who's pro, Seth Rollins. It's crazy how good he is. Uh, very good against Sami Zayn and against, uh, I believe... If you haven't maxed him in speed, AJ Styles as well. Uh, but we are on The Miz, or The Me, as people like to call me, even though I look nothing like The Miz. Does any of those cards, Miz, Ambrose, Sting, or Rollins, make a pro for you? If you let me know in the comment section below, that'd be fan fantastic. But another matter at hand is I've seen a lot of people with some Tide of Breeze pros, actually. I just coming out of that team, Ring Domination event, getting that card, and some of them have already got pros on that Tide of Breeze card. If you're one of those lucky people, uh, it'd be nice to hear from you. Let's see if we can get something from the board. I've not pulled anything all day, but if you pulled something decent, again, the comment section for it is a rare Bobby Heenan, because yay. Uh, not that I need any supports now, because I've got that Vince McMahon. Uh, I can't believe I've got that, 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 that second Vince McMahon. You want to see my reaction to it and reaction to the first one? Details are going to pop up over there on the right hand side. And one other thing is Dem Fusions. I know a lot of people have now got their first Survivor Fusion. Some are still working towards getting it. Some have already started on their third or fourth Fusion. Uh, if you got your first ones, let us know in the comment section. I am actually considering doing a shout out. For anyone who got their Survivor Fusions, a lot of lucky people, very happy people. I've seen my video who got a, a Vince because of how useful it is. I'll go to my deck actually because I now am in a very fortunate position of having four Pro Divas. I've not actually got them in the deck because uh, I'm training a Lita and I've put another one in there for just for giggles as well. Let's have a look. Let's go to edit deck. Uh, we've got the two Fusions in there down here so i've got charlotte in here where i can have um becky and bailey but yeah let's go and move into before we go and get ourselves that sting car which i'm going to kind of fast forward for you all i want to talk about a king of the ring i was in that was interesting so i was in a king of the ring with a dude called darren wright now i if you know me on twitter I can be very outspoken and say some things sometimes that riles a lot of people up. And as a result, uh, this guy and me don't get on. Um, it's the first action. The, the thing is, I, what, what do you want to say? He's one of the top players in the game. He does have a very, very good deck. He's got a massive advantage, advantage over me by having two Pro Divas. And we had a bit of, you know crap slinging going backwards and forwards over twitter over uh i said that like, i'm gonna quarter bump you and he said yeah dude that's that's fine but something very interesting happened kept going down and by the way just to shout out to some of the other people who was in the king of the ring by the way uh fiesto swamp thing uh tattoo or tatawa i'm guessing that's that is pre pre we didn't actually qualify in the end two black uh and then we have uh darren as well down the bottom now, what I found very, very interesting is that Darren was doing a lot of uh, crap slinging. And at one point, he was like 15 and 0. I didn't want to energize because I said, look, I'm going for you in the quarters. I want you in the quarters because I want to, you know, court bump you and give you just one survivor card because it was a bit of fun. It was a bit of banter. People were saying it's not banter and it's just me picking on people. It's not. It's complete banter because he doesn't need the cards. I don't need the cards, really, unless it's a really good pro. So, uh, and I'm expecting something awful. So, basically, um, we got to this point here, 38-39. Uh, and I was noticing um, that he was trying to drop back a little bit. And he was trying to avoid me going for 8th place. So, I cut a bit, stuck a bit of energy on around about here, where I got to Christopher. At the end of the day, he, he was getting close to a point where he was uh, sticking in 2nd. And going for first, and I knew that the person who's been over beneath me was never going as a bot, 
was never going to be able to finish in 7th because bots just don't finish in 7th. Uh, they always finish 8th or they finish outside the uh, the qualifying. And Darren Wright was trying to avoid me, even though he did this crap singing earlier on. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to literally mirror his deck. I'm going to go all in. I knew I know what his stats are on his cards. So I literally just went all at it and I beat him 4-1. I was very, very fortunate on the power and speed match with uh, Nikki Bella because my Nikki Bella isn't massively leveled in power, which uh, isn't uh, very regular. A lot of people actually uh, level up max in power. Mine has gone a little bit different. And I beat him. Then he went into the qualifiers, actually in a position where he was still second, stroke third, stroke first. And I was still between two bots around about six to eight or something like that. This is where it gets interesting. So as you can see, we had a very, very good start to it. Darren Wright was, and uh, Swamp Thing we had didn't actually have to face people, they had to face bots. Uh, Tatawa was uh, doing crazy stuff over here, knocking out two black. Uh, I knocked out Fiesto as well. Uh, it was unlucky of him in fairness. Very, very unfortunate with him to get knocked out. And then me and Darren went at it. So the first match came and went. Uh, there's a lot of disturbance on Twitter as a result. And the first match went to me. I got the first round. The second match went to Darren. Now the third match was where there was <laughs> there was a lot of silence. A lot of people were waiting to find out what the result was. And believe it or not, I think it was around about this point at the end here. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. And um, you could say that some salty things came out afterwards. Enjoy that fusion food that you've got. Um, and in fairness, I will probably get fusion food from my stuff as well. Me and Swamp Thing then had a game against each other. Um, I call that one of the toughest King of the Rings I've been in because I've never been in such a position. I knew that I was at a direct disadvantage straight away. Um, I was already automatically um, in a bad situation from the get-go. Uh, and it's actually amazing that I came through because I don't have the Diva Tag. I have a very, very good deck. I just don't have a Diva Tag. Anyway... Let's claim the rewards, let's get that Wrestlemania and that Survivor card, me and Swamp Thing did our thing. Uh, so let's just claim it, let's get Wrestlemania and Survivor card, here we go. It's gonna be a... <laughs> oh, you knew it was gonna happen. Oh, of all King of the Rings... Where oh wow that's incredible I I've I I've that's I don't even know what to say um uh, that's well that, that's something um so for doing that the reward was getting Rybacked and you know what as it goes it kind of all makes sense because whenever you, I said this in the last in the last video. It seems that whenever you have a good King of the Ring, you know, you, you have a really good, tough section or segment, you get a really bad card as a result. So, yeah, I got right back. And then the second one is a short one. How couldn't you just reverse those around, you know, make it a bit better? But no, I got right back. Brilliant. I'm, I'm genuinely... It's just funny. <laughs> Now on a final match of Dean Ambrose, didn't get to Sting, unfortunately, which is a bit of a pain in the backside, but that does mean that I can stream the finale tomorrow, which means that I'm happy about that. I've also been thinking of some different rules for um, Defeat of Delete, uh, which obviously now is a little bit easier. Uh, some things like removing all my divas, for example, as just an example, just making all commons, which means there's four guaranteed losses, and I've then got a handicap straight away. Or removing all my event cards. Uh, if you've got any ideas, it'd be great if you can uh, put them in on Twitter. Alternatively, uh, put them in the comment section below. That'd be amazing. It'd be any input that I take from any of you guys is going to me immediately be uh, recognised. So if you do genuinely want to help out, then and I take one of your ideas then I will shout you out on the stream, so that'd be awesome. Let's get this Dean Ambrose done as we talk about Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is right there. Um, I haven't seen Dean Ambrose on a Survivor card yet. I think it probably looked like one of the nicest ones it can go on. I've seen it on the WrestleMania card, and it's a bit like, mm, it's okay. 
Um, if there was a Dean Ambrose event card, I think it'd look beautiful on there. Power and speed, last one. Bailey is done. And there we go, Boobly. <laughs> got a lot of, a lot, actually, no, I've got a lot of criticism for saying that, even though it wasn't my idea. Boobly! Boobly, 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 boobly. Dean Ambrose is done. So there we go on to Sting, which will be my next pro. We're going to have some 50 picks, which are available. I don't think we're going to get a WrestleMania pool, but, you know, it's worth doing anyway. So remember to send out those ideas to me. Let me know if any of the cards are a pro for you. There's a summer ray. And whilst I'm going through these last 40 picks, just to remind you of all of those five things that I say in every one of my videos. The first one, of course, is to subscribe to the channel and to then like on this video. Uh, if you do like the video and subscribe to it, then fantastic. Thanks, dudes and gals alike. Um, if you don't, then what the hell? Why, what the hell's wrong with you? And also, uh, you know, stick as well. The worst King of the Ring awards you've ever had. The worst King of the Ring luck you've ever had. And follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and also on Instagram details in the description below as an epic sensational sherry nice little pull there uh, if that was Wrestlemania it would have been absolutely nothing to me uh, but there let's keep going so we've got Sasha Banks uh, Kevin Owens uh, Mr. Perfect right back uh, Mark Henry and then the Booker T and then our truth uh, we need anything else decent here nice epic uh, uh, sensational sherry this title match right back again Stone Cold Steve Austin and then we get Victor at the end so yeah we got ourselves at Dean Ambrose uh, it's going to be fusion food I think actually I've already got Dean Ambrose I'm not sure uh, epic sensation of Sherry in there as well that's it from me guys see you soon and remember as always safe